Hello everyone and thank you for joining me today. Now I decided in the end to split this video into two parts. Initially I was doing the whole Margaret Dabbs range but it just got too long and I didn't want to edit too much out so I hope it doesn't bore you too much. And I've called this let's talk about feet and let's talk about legs and I realised after I named it that it was a copy it was copying my good friend Rebecca aka Shoshana aka not fit for print beauty um, but I did check with her and she said it was fine do go over and have a look at her website um sorry her YouTube site because she's doing some really good um reviews around um lip products all sorts of different types of products like primers glosses everything else so do go over and subscribe to her channel it's called not fit for print beauty anyway i hope you enjoy this don't forget to tune in to part two which is all about legs good morning everyone and thank you for joining me today as you can see i'm in a different location i'm actually in my bedroom today um and let me explain to you why the egg chair is suddenly in my bedroom because Jack, bless his heart, I told Jack that my back was really relieved sitting in this chair and it's very comfortable for me. And I got back from visiting my dad the other day and Jack said he had a surprise for me and he said, look in the front room and the chair had gone and he'd carried it up the stairs into my bedroom, he said, so you can sit comfortably in your bedroom mm -hmm. at night. He's such a sweetheart. Come here and say hello to everyone. And actually it's a really good idea. It's the best place to have it. So I thought I'd do this for uh, in my bedroom today for a couple of reasons. One, because I wanted you to see the chair and tell you the lovely story about Jack. Two, because it's very comfortable to sit in it. And I've had a very restless night. And three, because it's a day off for me. Three, because it's a day off for Jack, because his school is closed, no hot water. But four, because it saves me carrying all the products that I'm about to talk to you about down the stairs. So, today's review is going to be about some very different products to, to the ones that I normally review. They're about leg and foot care products. Um, so, these are leg and foot care products by Margaret Dabbs. Now, just before I start, let me tell you the reason why, I mean, my channel is a beauty channel, so I love reviewing skincare products. But um, the reason that I'm very interested in these, most of you know that I have got spina bifida and my spina bifida has caused multiple problems with my legs and feet since I was born. Um, legs more in recent years, feet definitely since birth so i have got um a number of foot deformities i had a lot of surgery as a child on my feet and it's all to do with the neurological supply supplying the nerves to my legs and feet so basically anything below my waist is affected so when i was born i had a form of talipes um which my son has as well, clubfoot, but he doesn't have spina bifida, but it's just a kind of coincidence. Um, but mine was more difficult to correct because when there's a neurological cause, you can operate on a foot, but you don't know how it's going to react if the nerve supply to the foot is damaged. So I had a lot of issues with that. And then as I got into my 20s, because of the foot deformities and the fact that I have neuropathy. Now, let me just say, neuropathy is just posh medical Latin for meaning lack of sensation in your feet because of a neurological cause, right? That's all neuropathy is. Um, because of the neuropathy combined with poor circulation, poor nerve supply, all the other things, foot surgery, everything else, I started to develop ulcers on my feet where I was getting added pressure and didn't feel it. Um, very common problem in spina bifida. 
Um, I've had some very close calls where I've had to have um, lots of antibiotics, uh, cellulitis, um, infection tracking up my legs. It's something I have to watch throughout my life. And then in recent years, as I became less mobile, I had a deep vein thrombosis that I didn't feel. And then following on from that, I started to develop lymphedema, which is swelling of the legs and feet. Now, I'm sorry about this long introduction, but I just need to explain all of this. And I will put a timestamp so you can forward to the review, but then you'll kind of get an idea of why I bought these products and why I thought they might help me and why I'm feeling the way I am about them. So um, the thing about um, lymphedema is that you get very dull, achy, tired legs. And I think most people will know the kind of sensations that I'm talking about. So if you imagine that even if you don't have lymphedema or swelling of the legs, imagine yourself on the most hottest summer day when you've been walking around for ages in a pair of sandals hard and hard footwear and your feet are swollen up or when you were pregnant and your feet are swollen up and your legs feel really heavy and really achy and your feet and they just feel like they're going to explode well i get that most days and i have to manage that with compression stockings um, and various things and i'm under a lymphedema service now, some people, and this is the, the thing that I wanted to address before I get into the products. Some people have asked me, and it's a really, really good question. So I want to tackle it now so that you all understand. Some, some people have asked me a really good question in the past, which is, why is it that if you've got no sensation in your feet, that you feel pain in your feet and you feel discomfort in your feet? And it's such a good question because if I walk on glass on the floor, I can tread on glass and not feel a thing except I can see a blood trail. And yes, that's happened to me. And yes, I've broken my little toe and not realised, not felt a thing, but only realised because I heard the crack. So that's how little sensation I have in my feet. But there are different types of pain. And those different types of pain are governed by different nerve pathways. And a little bit like um, if you were in a car accident and you have damage to your spine, unless the spine is completely severed at that point, then you're not going to lose everything in there. So like you're not gonna lose the awareness. I have awareness that I have two legs and two feet but I don't feel pain if I tread on glass. Um, there is another nerve pathway that deals with the kind of achiness, the heaviness, the pressure, um, the swelling, and that nerve pathway is undisturbed. So I kind of get the worst of everything in some ways, in that I don't have the sensation to know whether I've got an ulcer until it's really bad and it's inside my foot and then I feel the pressure of it and then it starts to hurt um, but I do have the sensation to feel the achiness so I just wanted to explain all that if you don't want to sit through this you will have already skipped to the next part of my video so now I've done that introduction let me introduce you to the Margaret Dabbs range so I have always been a bit skeptical about foot and leg products in that, you know, given my history, what topical product could I possibly put on my feet or legs that is going to help me? Um, you know, these are neurological damage issues, they're surgery issues, um, nothing is going to actually help me. But then I um, switched on to QVC a couple of weeks ago. And it was at a time when my legs and my feet were really sore, really sore. And I was desperate. I'd do anything. You know, I had my compression hosiery on and they were really, really, really sore. And I saw this woman, Margaret Dabbs, introducing her product range. 
And what attracted me to this was she was talking about this Legance system that she has kind of is some trademark, I think, that she has come up with herself. Um, and it's supposedly, and I say supposedly because I'm not doubting it, but I'm telling you, reporting what she said rather than what I know, um, that this Legon system is clinically proven to reduce swelling and discomfort in the legs. And also her foot range is um, targeted towards removing hard skin, dead skin, and all that would help in terms of pressure areas building up in my feet and me developing ulcers and I have to watch even now because that area that I had an ulcer for a whole year is still very fragile and still very sore. I can still feel it which always worries me means that there's a potential that it's going to be really bad. And what interested me is that Margaret Dabbs is actually a clinically registered podiatrist. She's registered with the Health Professions Council as a podiatrist. And a podiatrist, by the way, is the same word as a chiropodist. It is somebody that is fully qualified. And I know because I am a member of the Health Professions Council as a arts therapist in music, um, that you cannot be registered with the Health Professions Council unless you have been through a minimum amount of training that is required by that profession. So immediately my ears pricked up and thought, this is a woman that actually is qualified. And podiatrists I see every, you know, every few weeks now, I know that they know their stuff. They often know more about spina bifida and neuropathy than any doctor that I've met. They're really clever. Um, and in fact, sometimes I go as far to say as a lot of orthopedic surgeons, because they're not just dealing with surgery, they're dealing with the whole foot um, and skin and tissue and everything else. So I thought, well, this woman must know her stuff. And she's saying these things about her products. I've got to try them. Now, spoiler alert, I was blown away. I bought a couple of products I was so blown away by these products. They're not cheap, but I was so blown away, I ended up buying virtually all the range. Um, and I'm not guilty about that at all. Um, funny little story, you all know about my mum and sending me gifts and I thought, oh, I need to buy the whole range, I need to buy the whole range. And then I came in to some money. Again, thank you, mum. Um, and it was just about enough to buy everything that I felt that I needed from this range. So thank you, mum. Uh, for those of you that have been following me, you know what I'm talking about. And my mum passed away um, in 2013, but she often sends me gifts. And that's my belief. You don't have to believe it if you don't want to. So I'm now going to get to the range. I'm sorry that there's been such a long introduction, but I do feel that it's important for me to have talked to you about that so that you really know that this isn't just this is really great on my legs and my feet these are feet that have had real clinical issues um that are very difficult to address and are being medically addressed right now um <clears throat> the other thing that i liked about a lot of her products and i will tell you a bit more as i go through them is that apart from one product which I wasn't sure about, and I'll tell you why later. All of her products say that they're suitable if you're diabetic. Now, I'm not diabetic, but that is something I always look out for because if you ha have diabetes, you have similar problems of neuropathy and circulation problems. And if something says don't use if you're diabetic, I don't use it, even though I'm not diabetic because I would have similar problems to someone who is diabetic in their feet. Okay, so um, just to explain that, they're similar problems. They're not quite the same, but similar effects. Now, all these products, apart from one that I would say exercise with caution, um, 
were sold as they're fine if you're diabetic. So I thought I have to try these. So let's get onto the products. I'm going to take you through them. There are a couple of must have products that I would say that I'm not going to be able to live without right now. You might have different issues. And that's why I'm going to take you through them all. And at the end, I'm going to tell you what my must must have products are for me and why. So that you can make an informed choice. Okay, so Jack's sitting next to me right now, listening to this. I hope he finds it interesting. I feel like I should tell you all a story. Anyway, never mind. So um, Margaret Dabbs has three types of products, some for feet, some for legs and some for nails. And they're colour coded, which makes it really simple. Now, I do have one for hands and nails, which is the cuticle, um, nourishing nail and cuticle serum pen. But that's because it doubles up as a foot product and I got it free with something else. So you can see, so the, the hand stuff comes generally, even though this doubles up as feet, this comes in yellow packaging. Then you have the foot products, which come in this burgundy packaging. And then all the leg products come in the blue packaging. So it enables you to, it's a really good way, I think, of, of distinguishing whether you've got a leg, foot or hand product. Okay, so first on in, I'm going to look at the foot products. Okay, so first on in, I'm going to talk about the foot hygiene cream. Now, this is one of her hero products. But the reason I've decided to start with this is this is the one that I was a bit dubious about getting. So it was the last thing that I got. The reason that I was dubious about getting it is it, it's actually got salicylic acid in it. And salicylic acid is something that you have to use in caution, with caution, if you're diabetic. But having said that, there is no warning on here. And I'm sure that Margaret is responsible enough a podiatrist that she would have put it in there so i am assuming that the um amount of salicylic acid is actually not that much um and i decided to take a risk with it because it is such a hero product now what this is is it's it's a very thick balm that you put on your feet and it's got i'm going to tell you what's in it so it's got um it's got paraffin liquid in it um, which will gives it the very thick balm texture a bit like Vaseline it's got emu oil which I'm going to tell you about a lot of her products have got emu oil in them and yes I did say emu oil this emu okay it's got tea tree oil in which is very good antifungal antibacterial, antiviral, it's great, you know, really good all round um, antiviral, antibacterial. So that's really good. Um, and it's just got some really good products in it. Now, the idea of this is that it says it's a multitasking formula to help relieve symptoms of sore, dry, blistered skin and discoloured nails. It's perfect hygiene measure for sports and sweat prone feet, rich in emu oil, to promote skin renewal and pure tea tree oil for its natural antifungal and antibacterial qualities. It's perfect for daily use to keep feet looking fit, protected and healthy. Now, having said it's perfect for daily use, what she suggests is that you use this if you've got a build-up of hard skin or you've got sweaty, smelly feet. Um, for me, it's more about the build-up of hard skin. Um, you use this every night for two weeks. And once your skin is smoothed out, then you you actually change over to her foot lotion, which is what I'm going to talk about next. As you can see in here, this is that very thick, balmy texture. And it really has greatly reduced the dryness on the bottom of my feet. And I'm hoping that it's keeping that dry skin at bay. But I was a bit wary of it because of the salicylic acid, because... Generally, when you've got um, problem feet like myself, they tell you to avoid salicylic acid um, because I've got no sensation. So, you know, it is an acid. And if I get any burning or whatever, I'm not going to feel it. But actually, I took a risk and I'm glad I did. It seems fine. Um, and it's also got 
a lovely smell of tea tree oil. I can that's basically what I can smell, nothing else. Now I will before I go on to the next product tell you about emu oil. And yes, this is one of her hero ingredients that she talks about. The properties of emu oil, obviously they are not vegan. So if anybody here is into vegan products and actually doesn't want animal derived products these ones are not for you but i am going to show you one that isn't because she does do a range that is vegan as well that doesn't have emu oil in it but the the properties of emu oil are supposed to be that the oil sinks very very quickly into the skin so you don't end up with really greasy feet um, it sinks, it's absorbed very, very quickly into the skin, but it has ultra moisturising properties and it's made me want to try it on my face. But do excuse me if you are um, really into vegan products, I don't wish to offend anyone. I'm just passing on what these products do and giving you the information so that you can choose to buy or not buy it. Um, and I will tell you about the vegan products coming up shortly. Okay, moving on to the next foot, up, foot product. I can't speak today. I seem to be, <laughs> I don't know what it is. But anyway, the next product is a foot file. This is a foot file. It's got a little bit of my hard skin still on it, which you can brush off with a, um, a nail brush. Okay, when it builds up too much. This is a foot file. I saw rave reviews about this foot file um, and it is really, really good. I've tried foot files before, paper ones, they don't really work. This is really good. Now, what she says about this, and it, this was a real game changer for me, was she said that you should never file your feet when you've put moisturiser on or when you've just soaked your feet in a foot bath or foot spa. Because she said, basically then, you're not going to see the it, it, the moisture actually gets rid of the hard surfaces and you can't see where you need to file. And it also makes it more, the skin more likely to tear and cause damage. So what she suggests is that you do this at the beginning of any kind of pedicure and that you actually use this on your feet in hard skin areas. It's really good and it's really helped me to stop that bit of skin building up on the bottom of my heel um you're only supposed to use this once a week don't overdo it don't use it more than once a week because you really don't want to damage your skin um this is going to file away that dead skin um and you don't want to file it back to the point where it's starting to get raw and sore and definitely if you're like me and you have little sensation you need to be very careful and keep feeling with your hands um, I know some of you have got similar problems to me, so just keep feeling with your hands. Keep checking with a mirror under your feet um, so that you don't go too mad with this foot file. But it is brilliant, and I can see why it's had rave reviews. People saying it's the best file that they've ever used. Now, when this gets worn down, you don't have to buy a new file. It actually comes with two replacement um, um stickers that so that you can replace these you just peel them off and you stick the other ones on and you're ready to go again and you can buy those from her site so that is the foot file okay next on in we have the foot mousse now this is a little bit misleading because it's not really a mousse it's got a kind of mousse like texture but it is like a foot scrub okay um now i'm just going to read what it says about this each each of her products comes with a spatula so you don't have to keep digging your hands in by the way so you can just take a small amount out and she tells you how much to use on the spatula so that's really good especially if you're working with your feet you don't want for hygiene reasons you don't want to then be dipping your fingers back in and spreading germs so um this says what does it say the first true beauty regime for feet created by margaret dabs um again it's got emu oil in it for its anti-aging moisturizing and healing properties 
and wonderful scented lemon myrtle and it does have a lovely smell to it all of these have got sort of tea tree lemon myrtle really nice smell to them now what this is as you can see it's got a kind of mousse like whipped up look to it but it as is actually a scrub and it's got bits of pumice in it and you basically scrub it on your feet smells lovely it smells really refreshing on the feet so the idea is that this you can use after if you're doing a weekly pedicure you would use this after you've done your foot file and the the, the advantage of using this over the foot file is that you can use this all over your feet and in between your toes so if you're somebody that's got soft corns between your toes you can't file those down um, because they're soft corns and you can cause damage to the skin but you can use this and you can use it all over your foot and you will have a lovely radiant foot that is ready to receive more of her moisturizers afterwards okay so that is the foot mousse by margaret dabs and it smells lovely right next on in this is probably a bit of an indulgence and probably something that most people don't need, but I did get some. And these are her foot wipes. They've got quite a generous size. I'm going to show you, actually, because I'm going to use one in a minute. Um, so these are just foot wipes to clean your feet with. And you might think, well, that's a bit lazy. Why don't you just wash your feet? And yet yeah, that's true. But if, like me, I, sometimes I end up walking around in bare feet and um, you've had your bath or your shower in the day, but you're walking around in bare feet and then I've got to go to foot health. These are really good to kind of give your feet a quick freshen up and make sure that you, you know, not got bits off your kitchen floor sitting on the bottom of your feet when you <laughs> visit your podiatrist. Um, or one time, actually, I found a nail between my toes before I visited Foot Health. Thankfully, she didn't pull it out then. But yes, and I didn't know it was there. Um, these are really good as well. If maybe you, you get a lot of showers, but you, like me, you've got mobility issues and it's difficult to reach your feet in the shower um, and really get in there and give them like a really good going over. These are really good. They smell absolutely beautiful really lovely fresh lemony smell and as i'm talking to you i'm going to have a go at my feet with one um it's just really uplifting lemon myrtle smell um really good to pop in your bag if you're going to the gym um just a really good idea um but you know you could probably do with, live without them um but they are i i love them and they're definitely good for just making sure that I can get between my toes um, and when I'm out of the shower that I've basically thoroughly cleansed my feet and that I haven't got anything sort of hanging around on my feet that I can't feel because there's a good sort of real tactile sense to this. You put your hand b between your foot, you've got your foot, then you've got the wipe and you've got your hand the other side. So it enables me to feel around and make sure that there's nothing like stuck in my foot because I just don't feel a thing. So it's really good for me, and it would be really good for people with similar issues to me, just to kind of double check your feet when you're in between baths um, or after the shower to make sure that you clean properly. Okay, and they are, you can get these on QVC, and I think they've got them on offer like two for £20. They're not cheap for whites, but... They are quite a generous size, as you can see. I won't hold it up completely because you're going to see that my feet are mucky. Actually, they're not too bad, but they're quite a generous size. You're supposed to use one wipe per foot. I don't. But there you go. I'm not going to use two wipes. Um, unless my feet were very dirty. I, I just think that's a bit silly. <laughs> anyway, so that's the foot wipes. So let's move on to the next foot product. Up 
Okay, so next on in we have the foot soak. So again, you know, after you've exfoliated your feet, whatever, you might have a foot spa. Um, by the way, Aldi have got a really good one on offer for nineteen ninety nine by Home Medics at the moment on their special buys, if anybody's interested. I'd actually bought myself a washing up bowl, but when I saw that, I had to get one because I thought I didn't really want to spend 70 quid on a foot spa. And a lot of them are about 60, 70 quid. But when Aldi had that one on offer, I couldn't resist it. Um, but if you want to do that, or even if you want to kind of, you, you can put this in the shower and let, leave the plug in. Or um, I've actually used this in the bath and just dipped my feet in. Um, if you're giving your feet a soak, um, this is really nice. So it says a foot soak designed to deliver long lasting and effective relief from puffy feet and dehydrated skin and nails. For me, it's the puffiness because that really makes me ache. It says dip into water um, and soak the feet for five to 10 minutes. Use daily for tired, over dry skin or weekly as a luxury treatment. And again, it smells beautiful. It's got a lovely fresh smell to it. Um, it's got in it glycerin. It's got, I'm just looking at the ingredients. Does it say it's got lemon myrtle again? Um, and what else does it say it has? Lemon myrtle is the main ingredient, I think, in this. Um, I can't see. Oh, does it have tea tree oil? I can't see tea tree oil, but it's got vitamin E in it. Um, some really nice products in there and it's got the emu oil again so that, again this isn't vegan but don't worry so these these ones that have got these burgundy the burgundy packaging are not vegan all right we're going to come on to that but if you're looking for the vegan products she also has a color code i should say and they are this color okay so if you want the vegan ones she has a range and they come in the boxes that have got this kind of taupe um, colour. So I'll tell you about that in a minute. Okay, so then we got come to moisturising. So we have the foot oil. Now, I'm a bit confused um, about this because she's got a foot oil and a foot lotion. Um, and I'm not quite sure. I was trying to look at some of her videos to see how she uses this and when she does a pedicure what i've seen them doing is actually spraying the nails and the toes with the foot oil and just doing a quick spray after you've um had your foot soak um and then using the lotion afterwards um but let me just read you about the foot oil so it says a unique dry oil that instantly transforms dehydrated cracked skin and nails giving long lasting results leaving the feet hydrated and smooth and again, it's got emu oil in it, pure emu oil. And does it have the lemon myrtle? Yes, it does. It has lemon myrtle as well. And it has, um, yeah, that's that's all. I thought it might have had some vitamin E, but it's got lemon myrtle oil in it and emu oil, basically. They're the main ingredients. So um, really nice. Um maybe not a, a complete must in my opinion but really good product then we come on to the foot lotion now the foot lotion i think is really good this has got the emu oil again it's got lemon myrtle again um and it's just really amazing the way that this lotion is it's very light, but it's got a lot of moisturising properties to it. And it just sinks into the skin. I'm just going to put some on my hands like this. Um, it just sinks in and it just doesn't feel oily at all. Uh, oily at all. Oily at all. And again, got that lovely fresh scent to it. You really feel like you've been to a spa. Um, and I think that's for me was one of the reasons that attracted me to the foot products is that Whenever I've had to use stuff on my feet, it's always been very medicinal. You know, I get stuff on prescription. But this feels like I'm giving my feet a bit of a beauty spa treat, as well as just having to deal with the medical problems. 
um, but it's doing both. And that's why if you go to a clinic, you can have a medical pedicure, but it has an element of beauty and pampering in it as well. It's not just about getting rid of corns and blisters and, and shaving back, you know, um, calluses and stuff. It's also about that experience, the whole holistic experience of having a treat. And that's what attracted me to the foot range. Very different what attracted me to the leg range. And I will tell you about that in a minute. This also is supposed to have properties that I think the emu oil is one of those that has the properties that is supposed to help inflammation, help take down swelling. Um, and just generally ease that achiness that you feel in your feet. Um, I don't know, jury's out about it, whether it helps the achiness in my feet, to be honest. But massaging any oil into your skin is going to help the circulation and in turn help the, with the achiness. But it's definitely a really good foot lotion because it does sink in so quickly. That doesn't now feel greasy at all on my hand. Um, and it really has made me want to try emu oil on my face. Sorry if you're vegan, I'm really sorry, but it's true, it works. Um, and then lastly, but not least, actually it's not the last, it's the second from last product, is the foot powder. I thought, right, you know what, I've got all the other products, I might as well, in for a penny, in for a pound. And this again has got lemon myrtle, vitamin E, and emu oil in the powder and it does feel very just very fresh it's good to dry between your toes you know if you've got athlete's foot anything like that and you just find that my toes because of the deformity they're quite bunched together so this keeps them dry in between because you don't want to get dampness between your toes that's when you start to have problems um and you know, bacteria sitting there and that can get then into cuts or grazes. And then if you like me and you've got lymphedema, you're in real trouble um, because your circulation is poor and therefore you can't fight infection in the way that other people can. So really good. Again, lovely talc and nice to have a talc for the feet specifically. But again, really nice product. Now, before I move on to the leg product, I've got one last foot product and I'm going to tell you the pluses and minuses of this because there are two big pluses. There's one big plus and one big minus to it. So I'm just going to get it for you. Right, this was a real treat because this is extraordinarily expensive for a foot oil. Um, 85 pounds, ouch. But look at the box, look at the presentation. You get this beautiful box. Now, the reason it's so expensive, this is just does not have emu oil in it. This is fully vegan, okay? Um, but it is, it has got gold in it now. They say that it gold has got restorative qualities. I've seen recent tweets where skin experts have said that it's really funny how people think that just because something's got gold or silver in it, it's going to be brilliant. So I don't know what the research is about gold, but I am trusting that Margaret Dabbs knows her stuff and she is a qualified podiatrist. So let me just read to you what it says here. Envelop your feet in unadulterated luxury with our most treasured creation, infused with colloidal gold. We've harnessed the pet benefits of this precious metal and abundance of botanical extracts to create an opulent liquid gold lotion which transforms the feet with powerful anti-aging, anti-inflammatory and restorative qualities with a captivating fragrance of bur bergamot, pettigrain, 
and a touch of delicate light reflecting shimmer to impart a luminous golden glow. It just sounded so luxurious and I am fed up of medicinal products and things that I just wanted to treat my feet. So um, I really did have a splurge. I'm just going to put some of this on my hand. So you can see it's actually a cream, even though it's called an oil, but it is heavily infused with oils. Now I'm just going to do it on my hand because I've not really noticed on my feet there to be much of a sparkle or gold or anything when I rub it in. But my feet are quite dry and with all the other issues going on, I might not notice. Let me see, I'm going to hold up both hands. So you've seen the lotion on the other hand and you're going to see this on that hand. Yeah, there is there is a bit more of a shimmer. I can see that. Can you see that? Again, the most delicious scent. It's slightly different, this scent, because it obviously it doesn't have the emu oil in, but it's a really nice scent to it, and it's really fresh smelling. There's a kind of woodiness about it, which I think must be the bergamot, but really beautiful. But my only criticism would be about this is the price of it, and I think... It's it's a shame that the vegan product is one of the most expensive products. Having said that, this is not the only lotion that she does in the vegan. She also does a vegan version of the foot lotion and all and a lot of the other products. Okay, let's do a quick run through of the vegan products. So this is the foot lotion and coming up is the foot oil. And instead of emu oil, she uses Bariti Jojoba and hemp seed oil um, instead of the emu oil and also bergamot and pettigrain. And then you have the nail and cuticle treatment pen, again using similar oils. And then you have the reviving foot soak, which again has got similar oils um, running through. And then you have the scrub, which has got grand, ground bamboo and turmeric in it, as well as the other oils. So do check out her site because you will probably find a vegan version of most of the things that I'm talking about today. And I think this is kind of a one-off luxury item. I don't regret having it. And to be quite honest, I use some of it on my legs as well. Um, I just think it's a really lovely scented moisturiser and in a beautiful box and would make a really lovely gift for somebody I'm just thinking, you know, if you've got an elderly relative that has problems with their feet, what a lovely gift to get them um, because of the way that it's presented in that box. It's just really nice, really luxurious item. But do you need it? Possibly not. OK, so let's move on to the leg products because I am now about to get very, very excited. At this point, I decided I've yapped on for 40 minutes and um, I just looked at it and I thought a lot of this information is quite useful. I hope it's useful for you. So I decided that I was going to split this video into two sections. So join me shortly for part two, which is going to look at Margaret Dabbs leg products. And I hope you've enjoyed this so far um, and I'll see you soon.